schemes to connect with community workers, particularly financial capability workers that work with First Nations communities, to understand what's going on on the ground. To me, the Yarding Circle is a really important part of the Financial Council Australia's conference. It gives us a great opportunity to talk to Indigenous councillors, find out what's going on, what's happening in their state, what we can do and share as Ombudsman and how we can assist. And it gives us an opportunity to hear from financial councillors directly on really specific issues that are impacting their clients. And it gives us interesting, valuable data that we can then go back to the TIO with um, and unpack those issues in a way that we can actually explore further if those issues are coming through in the complaints we receive. Because it's our opportunity to actually hear and listen and understand from frontline workers what actually happens when people are engaging with the different industries we cover. So financial services, energy, water, and importantly for us, the telco as well. So while it might look like we're presenting and doing those sorts of things, I actually think we're the audience because we've got the opportunity to listen and understand. I'd like to learn a little bit more in the session today about what other ombudsmen have learned out of the Yarning Circle over the years and also about what's going on what they've learned from us or what they'd like to learn from us in future Yarning Circles as well because that's really important. I'd like to better understand whether the things that we've tried at the TIO have actually made an impact for the community. Um, we can again be really busy doing stuff in our organisation but if it's not changing the experience of First Nations people, we're running around in circles for no real purpose. I think one of the key things that Ombudsman, whether it's my office or telecommunications industry Ombudsman, I think what we can do better is to actually work more on systemic issues. Yes, it's great when financial counsellors refer a complaint, but let's make sure we share in with them more often how we actually get to the bottom of that and fix the drivers. I think it's really about understanding the challenges that people are really having in their lives. And, um, and ensuring that the service that you're providing is really tailored so it isn't just a one-size-fits-all. I think it's about actually better understanding what those challenges are and ensuring that your service is fit for purpose for people who may not understand how schemes work, may not even know what EDR is, uh, and how can we best help them to uh, use the service and get the outcomes that they need. The greatest challenge for Elon at the moment, and I think more broadly other onwards and offices, is that we're not currently seeing many complaints from people facing financial difficulty, but it's coming. CPI 5.1%, there's a lot of energy debt, I'm guessing there's telco debt, there's a lot of bad things happening in that sector, in the financial sector that we're going to see come home and hit consumers hard. 
we're going to have to be on our toes to be able to help customers get the right assistance for what they need. Because what we're all about is not only resolving those individual issues, but using the experience of what's going on by consumers to really improve practice right across the industry. What we want to get to is a situation where consumers, day in, day out, are treated fairly by financial firms, energy companies, and certainly by telcos. And we have a long way to go. Thank you. 